A moment in their careers these three officers will never forget. They were instrumental in the rescue of dozens of stranded residents trapped by this week's forest fire in Seclusion Bay near Peachland. Constable Denise Benfell was pivotal in rescuing a bulk of the residents by knocking on doors and making sure that everyone was accounted for as flames surrounded her. She is heard over the police scanners saying they're trapped. Uh, everyone that I sent out um, shortly, a few minutes later, had turned around and come back because they couldn't get out. I would definitely accept if she offered. Right. <laughs> Meantime, her partner, Constable Ryan Rowley and Auxiliary I Constable no Greg Barnard, were assigned to taking the care of an 80-year-old woman. The fire changed direction, the wind changed direction, and the, the fire started to flare up, and, and we decided that we had to get her out of there right now. Alpha 50 from Alpha 2, we have, we have one lady with us here. We're heading down to the lake. Uh, that's the only place we can go right now. Rowley and Barnard escorted the woman to safety while Corporal Brian Harris manned the police boat. He says the sight as he approached the beach was ominous. Well, when I was coming in from uh, West Bank, you could actually see the glow of the trees being engulfed in flame uh, from the shoreline. And as I came closer, it, I was able to see more as I was further out. And as I came closer, I could hardly see anything because of the smoke. So it was glowing red. In the end, some structures were lost, but everyone made it out safely. However, there was one minor casualty on the police front, Rowley's police vehicle. Uh, the back of it melted in the black and the back window blew out from the heat so and there was some water in it as well. My car got left here as well at least mine survived and didn't get burnt <laughs> burnt a bit like uh, Constable Rowley's. Near Peachland, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.